Hi, I have another little haul video for you today. This one's from American Apparel and it has something that I get asked the most questions about in my wardrobe. The first thing I got was this baby rib crop t-shirt. This is a size small and I got it in the color pink. It was Canadian $20 or $20 Canadian is probably a better way to say that. This is really surprising. It fits me really nicely. It fits kind of small, like this feels like an extra small. Oh man, don't you love it when you try to wear a cute bra and then the bra strap isn't strong enough and it just fully rides up and looks terrible? Yeah, me too. The length is too short for me. Like, I prefer longer, but this is kind of nice because it works with some of my high-waisted pieces really, really well. So here is the thing I get asked the most questions about all the time. Where did you get your socks? Where do you buy your thigh-high socks? Where do you buy those over-the-knee socks? I have one particular pair that people ask about and they're from American Apparel. These are thigh-high socks. They come in one size in the color black. I don't know if these are the exact same because when I first bought them years ago in a store, they were $30 Canadian and these were only 20. Sorry if I sound kind of weird today, I am sick. <laughs> I've been sick for two weeks now and I'm feeling better, but I sound like this, so I'm sorry. These socks are insane. If you are tall and you can't find over the knee socks that actually work for you, these are the ones, American Apparel. They go all the way up to your butt. Um, I'm 5'5". Five five. They stretch out. Like the first few times you wear over the knee socks, they do kind of pinch into your thighs a little bit. So you have to wear them a few times and wash them. And eventually they fit really nicely. Yeah, there you go, you animals. You can go get your own pair now. This is the plaid tennis skirt, size small, navy plaid. This skirt is really disappointing to me. This thing was originally 60 Canadian dollars, but it was 50% off when I bought it and it doesn't freaking fit. I do have an idea. I think I'm gonna try to style this with a sweater tucked into it and hopefully that will work. It's not the right length. It's kind of awkward. It is really, really like a school skirt. I went to Catholic school and all of these um, like private schools and stuff where we had to wear uniforms and yeah, this feels like the uniform skirts we had. This is the Ringer t-shirt dress, size small, black and white. This dress is adorable. It is a little bit longer than I usually like. It's, it's not what I'd call a mini dress. It was $20, actually like $19. And I think this is a super nice basic to have in your wardrobe. You could really throw it on when you're just having one of those off days. You know what I mean? You can style it up or down. <laughs> dress it up or down, I guess is the saying. Very Wednesday Adams, really. That's what it reminds me of, Super Wednesday Adams. I love this jacket. This is um, the Heavy Terry Cropped Club Jacket in a size small, and this was $60 Canadian. The only problem I have with it is that I really wish that the little buttons, the press studs on the front were white, because the whole thing is pink and white, and then they have these black press studs, and I'm just wondering, why? Why didn't you get white press studs to match the piping or the, the trim or whatever you call that? <laughs> but yeah, oh, it's so great. It's really, really thick. Uh, I think this would be great for spring and fall. Not so good for winter. It's not that thick. It's, um, yeah, it smells good. It's important. It smells like strawberries. I'm kidding. It smells like clothes. <laughs> One of the really good things about American Apparel is that they are sweatshop free. So yes, sometimes you will be paying a little more than you may be comfortable paying, but you can rest easy knowing that everything they sell is sweatshop free. Shopping at American Apparel online is something I'd never done before, but it was such a great experience. They use a service called Border Free, so um, when you shop here in Canada, you don't have to pay the duties when they cross the border. They've already sorted that out for you beforehand, so that's really, really nice. I like that a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking on me today. I am sorry that I sound like a pack-a-day smoker, but I am getting over a chest infection. I will see you <laughs> really soon. Bye.